Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best solo money guide that you should all be doing this week in GTA 5 Online to make yourself millions and millions of dollars every single day. My favorite part of this money guide is the fact that of course you can do it solo, but also it's very quick to set up. It probably takes like 10 or 15 minutes to set this up and after that you're going to be making millions of dollars in game. Anyway, before getting into the video, if you do go on to enjoy, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on the video and if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, consider hitting that subscribe subscribe button as I do upload lots of daily GTA 5 videos just like this one, but without further ado, let's get into this amazing money guide. So getting into this money guide, there's only one thing that you need for this and it's literally right behind me in Acid Lab. So call out your Acid Lab and enter inside of it and as you probably know, there's lots of good bonuses that are going on with the Acid Lab this week and the first one being the resupply option. Now when you're inside your Acid Lab, I recommend coming over here to where it says source supplies which is literally right here in this corner and click right d-pad to do the source supply option. What this is going to do is put you in a resupply mission and now you're going to be getting supplies for your Acid Lab. But like I said, there's lots of bonuses going on with the acid lab and one of those bonuses is the fact that when you do these resupply missions you're going to be getting double the amount of supplies that you normally would this week in gta 5 online which is very very overpowered and when it actually comes to doing the resupply missions they're pretty easy you can see this one that i did right here i had to come over to the warehouse locate the supplies once i located them i then had to come over and get in this forklift and then use this forklift to pick up the supplies and i had to load it into the truck which is going to be my delivery vehicle that i need to use to drive over to the freak shop you can see right here i just loaded into the truck and once I loaded it into the truck it was literally as simple as me getting inside the truck and delivering this over to the freak shop. Now here is the thing, every time you're doing a resupply mission with the acid lab you'll notice there's going to be a supply health bar at the bottom right. Of course, you want to make sure that you keep that health bar all the way full, that way when you deliver it, it's all the way full and not all the way down. A good way to make sure that your supply level doesn't go down at all is just shooting the people that are behind you. There's going to be people on motorcycles and people in cars. You do not have to worry about the people in cars because your truck is going to outrun them or whatever your vehicle is, it's probably going to outrun that car. But the people you do have to shoot is the people in the motorcycles right there behind me you can see. They're very easy to take out also, you just have to shoot them like once and they'll fall off the bike. Anyway, once you deliver them to the freak shop, hopefully your supply level was all the way full just like mine was, and just like that you are now done resupplying your acid lab. And like I was saying, the resupply missions give you double the amount of supplies this week, so when you go back to your acid lab, you'll notice that your supplies are going to be all the way full, or just almost all the way full, which is very, very clutch. That's why I'm basically making this video, letting you know of these bonuses. Anyway, another tip that I recommend you do to speed the production of your acid lab business is when you're inside your acid lab, come over here to this part of your acid lab, which is literally right here in front of me. Once you come up to it, now click right d-pad to boost the acid production, and what this is going to do is it's going to boost and speed up the production of your acid lab. Now you're doing this and if you didn't know this week in GTA we also have a regular 1.5 times speed boost production already with the acid lab. So that 1.5 times speed boost plus this speed boost that we're doing right now is going to make our acid lab go super super fast in product. And after you get a full set of supplies and you've boosted the acid lab production it's going to take you exactly one hour for your acid lab to go all the way full as long as you have the equipment upgrade which if you don't have I'll show you how to get in a second. But yes it's going to take you one hour and if you don't believe me take a look at the time right now it is 4 53 p.m yes i know my product is like a bar full but that's not really that much it's gonna take exactly like an hour for your acid lab production to go all the way full though like i said you do need to have the acid lab equipment upgrade on and you would have had to have clicked the acid lab production that i showed you how to do a second ago but yeah, after that first resupply mission, you have a whole set of supplies, so you don't really have to do any work for the entire hour unless your supply level gets all the way down, then of course you want to do another resupply mission. But yeah, while that hour is passing, I recommend you do some of the money methods that I posted on my video on Friday. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave it linked at the top of the description, or you can click the top right of your screen right now, and those are the money methods you can do while your hour passes. Anyway, let's get back to the equipment upgrade option that I was talking to you guys a second ago. If you do not know with the acid lab, you can put an equipment upgrade on this thing and make sure you have the equipment upgrade on because without it your product is going to be worth less money. If you want to put this upgrade on what you need to do is come inside the freak shop, come over here to where Mutt is and click right d-pad, now click where it says customize acid lab and then click acid lab upgrade then acid lab equipment and now you need to put the equipment upgrade on your acid lab. If for some reason it says it's locked for you what you need to do is 10 fooligan jobs. If you don't know what those are what you need to do is open up your phone, go over to your contacts and once you go over to your contacts you need to look for Dax. Once you find Dax, now give him a call, and once you give him a call, you'll see at the top left you have two different options. The option that you want to request is the one that says request work. That's going to be the fooligan job. 
After you do one of those, that's going to be one out of 10. And you need to do 10 of those Fooligan jobs in order to unlock that equipment upgrade. After you do those 10 Fooligan jobs, when you come back to the Acid Lab, you can see you will now will have the upgrade unlocked. But now it's time for the fun part, selling the actual product. And like I told you, it took me exactly one hour for my product to go all the way full. And you can actually take a look at the time right now. It's exactly one hour ahead from the time that I showed you previously, which is pretty crazy. You gotta love that 1.5 times speed boost this week. Anyway, whenever you're ready to sell, you can sell it in an invite only session and not worry about anybody messing with you and walk away with $331,000, but not me. I want to walk away with $500,000. And if you want to walk away with an extra $200,000 more, you need to do the step that I'm about to show you right now, which is simply going in a public session. Yes, you need to put yourself in a public session to do this. And now you need to make sure that there's at least over 20 people in your session. You can see this is the perfect session right here. And once you have a public session with over 20 people, go in your acid lab and now you just need to click sell acid and sell it in this public session with over 20 people. I'm pretty sure you all know how these acid lab sell missions work. They're very, very easy to do. So you're either going to be in the sell mission that I'm in right now where you have to drive to five different locations and actually get off your bike and stash the acid or you're going to get the other option where it's basically the same thing. You're going to five different locations, but instead of getting off your bike, you just have to throw a newspaper inside of a bin, which is my personal favorite. It's kind of annoying having to get off your bike and stash the acid, but if you get the newspaper one, it's way easier. All you have to do is throw the newspapers inside the bin and of course do that at five different locations. Either one you get, they're both really, really easy. Of course, if you're doing it in a public session, just make sure you're very careful of your surroundings. I was very careful and I just didn't go around too many people. And if there's ever a moment where you feel like somebody is going to attack you, I recommend just going in ghost organization. I promise you after you go in ghost organization, they're not going to mess with you anymore and you should successfully be able to deliver all of your product. And as long as you delivered all of your product and you were in a public session with over 20 people, here's how much money you're going to walk away with after selling. You can see $502,000, which is an extra $200 hundred thousand dollars more than that we were originally going to get of course that is the bonus that you get for selling in a public session with over 20 people that's why i recommend doing this when it comes to selling so that is the money guide but there is something cool that i wanted to let you know of in case you didn't know just in case now you can actually control all of the stuff in your acid lab from your phone all you have to do is go to your contacts and then give mutt a call once you give mutt a call you'll see at the top left you have three different options you have a source supply option which you can click and source supplies from your phone and if you can pay attention right there you can see also the current supply level of your acid lab and also the current product value which is pretty helpful you can also buy supplies from here and also pause the production if you want to but yeah you can do all of this from your phone and i thought i'd let you know in case you didn't but yeah, that is not going to be the end of today's video. Now you know the best way to make millions of dollars this week in GTA 5 Online. And the best part is you can do it completely solo and it takes almost no time to set up as you saw. It literally takes like 10 or 15 minutes because after you do that resupply mission, you have a full set of supplies that should last you the entire time your product goes all the way full. And if it does go a little bit down, you can simply do another one. And that's like another 10 minutes, only 20 minutes. And after waiting an hour, you can sell the product and make 500K after an hour, which is pretty good. But but like I said, that's it for me. Hope you guys are going to enjoy and I will see you all in my next video. Peace.